And a very good evening to all my viewers out there. So this is video number 14 of my 2019 flood coverage. It is right now Tuesday, April 23rd, 2019. And it's almost 8.55 p.m. And I was just doing a video showing you all these pumps in action. And I was explaining to you that all this water is coming from Pierfond Boulevard, Rennie Lamar, this whole area behind me here, flowing through the pumps into this parking lot and then out into the river, which is right behind me. Uh, so I'm going to continue my walking video here and uh, show you exactly what's going on so you kind of get a better idea of it. So first of all, you have these walls that they put up here uh, full of mud and sand and that's holding back all the water from that parking lot, pretty much the river itself, from coming over here. So let's walk around here, let's see these pumps in action. It's going to get a bit loud here, so like I said, I, uh, I apologize for that. Well, let's get a look at these pumps. So these are probably the, the pumps, the last pumps that are here before the river. And like I said, there's a bunch of pumps all over the place here. There, there's also pumps on Pierfond. And you can see here, they got some other pipes set up here, temporary piping. And as we work our way around here, we're gonna see more of this. So this area pretty much is where you're seeing the bigger difference compared to 2017. In 2017, none of this intricacy was set up. They didn't have these pumps. They didn't have anything like that here. So you can see how effective it is. And I think this is a very important video because it shows you with a little bit of thinking how you can kind of divert water. And if you're interested, it says here Godwin, pretty ironic that name Godwin, battlefield pumps. So literally, these are heavy-duty pumps, probably designed specifically for flooding. And here, by the way, is your public works building, your Pier Farm Public Works building. And this apartment building over here as well. They're getting a bird's eye view of everything. So let's go down here to the street, uh, the Riviere de Boissy, I believe it is. And we're going to see what's happening there. And you're probably going to see not much because of these pumps. But we're going to check it out anyways. And here's your flooding. Look at these cars here. So obviously, it looks like they forgot to move the cars around. Uh, there's still some vehicles that are stuck there in the back. So if you've lowered your volume, you can definitely turn it back up now. And you can see what I'm talking about. All these dikes here. We're not there in 2017. But you know, there's an important thing to know about all this. You know, you can put up all the dikes, all the sandbags you want. At the end of the day, you know, if this climate change intensifies, which they're saying it will, you know, this is gonna be pretty much fruitless. You're gonna have to start demolishing all these buildings that you see here by the water and uh, simply rethinking where you live. So anyways, what I'll do, I'll get a quick video down here just to show you because I don't see much action here. If you remember in 2017, they had all these um, area, these streets here, these side streets that were full of pumps and generators. None of that now because probably a lot of that water is being kept out. And also, you know, as I mentioned, we're not at the 2017 flood level right now. Now look at this house here. This house seems to be toughening it out. This is incredible, this little house here. They probably went through the 2017 floods as well. You can see the water's coming right up there. So their basement's probably completely flooded. But that's a, a really good example of an area that you shouldn't build a house in. Mind you, you know, 10 years ago, 20 years ago, wouldn't, wouldn't have been a problem because we didn't have any of these situations. 
but you can see it's pretty boring down here compared to a few years ago but uh, you know that can change so I'm gonna finish up my coverage here uh, you know I pretty much covered all the bases here showed you what's going on in the area and uh, I'll just basically wrap it up by saying this to update you uh, there is some rain expected tonight could be up to 20 millimeters and apparently the long-range forecast is also calling for rain so we could see depending on what happens either the water to continue to go down or it might go down a little bit and then start to rise again and as I said if you if you're watching these videos um, there could be some very major flooding in the coming weeks so it's not over yet and as always whatever happens I will keep you all updated and uh, thank you all for watching and uh, I'll definitely come here in a day or so see what's going on and uh, either way I'll update all my viewers and uh, thank you all for watching all right have a good night all